How's it going everyone? My name is Aiden and welcome to this video. So today we're going to be going over the Save the World roadmap. Now I know a bunch of you are probably thinking, Aiden, how do you have access to this content so early? What? How, how, how do you have this? You're never late on the scene. You're always so quick. And to be honest, it's because I have links at Epic and whenever something like this does come out, they always slide a link my way so we can get on the scenes early. That was obviously sarcasm, but I did want to give my views and opinions on Season 10 because Season 10 has actually been a mad one. I, I, I even have been playing Battle Royale. Cocinero, Richita, ¿qué? Ve por la paellera. Venga, que las dos de la tarde ya están aquí. Miren, bañado. En las chanclas. Todo despeinado porque no me dio tiempo de nada ponerme las chanclas y el bañado. Voy a la playa, había subido la marea. <laughs> because my friends were like let's play it one night and then we actually had quite a lot of fun so i was playing that a bit but we are going to be going over the roadmap for save the world because that is the top dog and that is where i like to play so let's have a look shall we so obviously in Save the World, we got given like the locker, all of the emotes. Now the emotes were, they were great. I love the emotes. I think that's such a cool thing. Obviously now we've had them for a little bit. It's like, you know, the, the hype of them is wearing down quite quickly. Um, I still think they're pretty cool, but I also really do like the Hit the Road mission. I think it was really well done. I'm still yet to complete it, but I think that is a, a really good step in the right direction of, you know, them kind of missions are a lot more fun. Those longer missions, I really like them. So if we could definitely get more stuff like that, then that would be fantastic. So what are we getting? Okay, so Save the World Roadmap 8.9-2090. Is this the right roadmap? 10.10, .10. yes it is. Okay, so by the Fortnite team, hello everyone. We are back with another Save the World roadmap. We hope you're all dancing to your heart's content. Yes, Kyle is swirling those glittery eyes around the place with his beautiful thick thighs. Thunder Thora returns, bringing the thunder to the ground. So Thunder Thora, she's what, the constructor? She's quite good. Did she do the electrified floors? I think that's what she does. She's a pretty tonky constructor, if that is the right perk I'm thinking of. Well, I mean, if uh, she is coming to the store, then it's definitely worth picking her up. Penny takes over the van. Join Penny as she hits the road as this week's van driver. Right, does it make a difference if uh, she's driving the van? Who's driving it previously? I honestly thought it was Lars. I'm gonna get. I, I, I'm now gonna assume that it's Quinn, though Quinn was actually doing my nutting from the way I didn't like her dialogue. I don't know, really come off as a downer, but she. I didn't really like her character much. Um, you know, Lars was trying to hit on that thing, and she was having none of it. I was like, oh come on, Lars is such a cool guy, though. R.I.P. for Lars. Now, SMG weapon type. We are adding a new weapon subclass. Okay, it's not a new weapon subclass. SMGs will become their. You're just gonna create another variant of class with. All weapons are already in the game. SMGs will become their own weapon type rather than sharing the assault rifle or pistol weapon type and will introduce more flexibility in gameplay as SMGs will work with a mixture of existing assault and pistol hero perks. Yeah, so that's an interesting change there because SMGs obviously latch on to assault rifles. You know, like how the Bobcat when it came out, I was like, this is an SMG, this is a P90. Um, I, th I, you know, I reckon I probably mentioned, why is there not an SMG subclass yet? <laughs> and now they're doing it, I'm complaining. So that's because I don't think they're going the right way. Let's have a read, let's have a read. They're gonna, will become their own weapon type rather than sharing. But the thing is, if you have an assault weapon build, you do that for SMGs as, do you, you have to create your own SMG build? They're gonna have to buff SMGs in their own style now, aren't they? For heroes that have assault rifle pistol perks that were not changed to work with SMGs, resets will be available. Ah, uh, goddamn resets everywhere. There's so many resets in this game for updates. It's actually, it's good obviously that they give the, ch the choice of resets, but the fact that they make, they're making so many changes where they, have, they just have to throw a reset in to make up for it is a bit... I mean, I'm not gonna. I shouldn't judge it, you know, because because it could be good. It could be potentially quite a good thing. Available in case players invested for a specific combination of hero loadouts and weapons. Okay, weapons that changed weapon type, becoming SMGs, will also have free resets in case players want to use a different weapon with their hero loadout instead of adjusting their hero loadouts. Okay, fair enough. 
All defenders who could use assault rifles or pistols before can now use SMGs as well. Defender perks that boosted. Okay, just uh, epic. Just create a new defender. Okay, just create an SMG defender. I mean, or just have defenders. Uh, I mean, the idea of a defender that can just multi wield weapons. Why isn't there like a multiverse defender? A mythic defender which can use any weapon you give it. And maybe they have a higher accuracy or something or they do extra damage why are mythic defenders not in the game yet that's mythic weapons defenders are there any mythic weapons no aiden there aren't <laughs> i've been playing since for a long time i was like i've just questioned myself are there mythic weapons okay but i think defenders um i think they should just create an smg defender because sensor is one for everything you know, you shouldn't have to be like, oh, this this pistol defender can use an SMG and pistol. Oh, this assault rifle can use an SMG and assault rifle. You know, it's a bit of a strange one. But uh, I guess we will see when the time comes. So, uh, content update week 8 of 21. The V6 Rat Rod Rocket Launcher. Is that a re-release or is this a new one? Rev up with the V6 Rocket Launcher. Offering high damage and fire rate. This baby smokes the competition. Rat Rod lock Rocket Launcher. Okay, so I know about Rat Rod. Because the rat weapons came out. But I can't remember the rocket launcher. The V6 rocket. I, if I get the feeling that if I Google this, it is not going to work. Image. They're not talking about the quad launcher, are they? No, rat rod. Cloak Star hops in the driver's seat, following along with Cloak Star as he pilots the van this week. So they're changing the driver of the of the van in Hit the Road. So is that just different dialogue uh, for each mission? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, Epic, what you should do is on your Reddit, do a do a competition for mini game ideas for that hit the road. Because if you look over some of the comments on uh, YouTube channels that have played hit the road, there are like co so many comments talking about a bunch of mini missions that would be perfect for that that whole game mode, whatever. <laughs> that whole hit the road. Because a lot of them are very cool. I really like the Mist Pod one and the stuff. They've already got a bunch of really good ones, but the, there are so many more. Uh, t t week 8 of 28. Carbide Returns. Remember me? Yeah, I remember you grinding you out and you absolutely wasted all my time. <laughs> Don't mean to crap on everyone that's like, Oh my god, the Carbide's coming back. He probably, I haven't used him since literally his first release. And I was jarred out because I spent multiple hours grinding him out to get him, and then I was like, "Do you know what? I don't even, I don't even like this uh, double pistol thing that he has." Uh, new narrative quest line, new rad hero. Complete the new narrative quest line to earn the raddest hero of them all. A new trap. Oh, I love actually seeing new traps. The tar trap was really cool. The uh, cannon one that was released not too long. Oh, it was a while ago. Actually, it was actually really good. You can dance if you want to. You can leave those husks behind. You can dance if you want to. You can leave those husks behind. So it's going to be a ground trap, right? And it's going to... Is it... Oh my god, do you reckon it's a disco floor? And when the husks walk onto this floor, they have to just start doing the disco dance. And, they, and it works for like five seconds. And you can either dance along with the husks, or you can, you know, shoot them and run away. That I'm, call I'm calling it, ladies and gents, I'm calling it. It's going to be a disco floor. Or it's going to be a disco ball on the ceiling. You know, for a ceiling trap. Oh my god, can Epic do both of them and they complement each other. Oh my goodness, a disco ball that shattered shards. <gasps> I just invented a new trap for you. There you go, Epic. <laughs> new llama. What better way to complement the rad hero other than... A new rad llama. Exchange 500 hit the road tickets and get your rock on with the... F Rock, well, it's got to be good if I'm going to get a rock on for four new rad heroes and five boom box weapons. Ooh, ooh, that's interesting. So they're definitely going for the music vibe, okay? So that's an interesting style to go around. They're going around like music for this, which is cool because we've got Lars, who's already in a band. We had the whole band thing, so it actually fits in quite nicely. Round two for Quinn. Quinn takes the van over for... Oh, God damn it, Quinn. She better change up her attitude in the next one. She better be dinner dating Lars. Like, oh, hey, Lars. And Lars is like, I'm having none of it. He's like, no, Quinn. Goddamn, Quinn ain't having none of it. And <laughs> Quinn's like, I'm sorry, Lars. Maybe we can go out to dinner after the concert. And he's like, nah, girl. I don't know why his accent changed. You know, he's a rock star. But <laughs> hopefully Lars can hold his ground. 
During season nine, we extended the maximum level of Twine Peaks. Yes, you did, and it was quite cool. Made the challenges or made the missions actually quite challenging, and changed how mission alerts worked. Uh, these changes haven't worked out as well as we hoped, so we are making some significant improvements to them in update 10.10. .10. Missions including group missions in the upper half of Twine are going to reward evolution and perk materials far more often. And the quantities of perk materials that they award will be scaled considerably. Okay, my problem is you said this last time, quotations scaled up considerably. They didn't scale them up considerably. When you when you do a mission that takes around 20, 15 to 20 minutes, a four player group one, and you're getting like 180 to 220 gold perk up, which isn't even a single perk upgrade. Though I know this game is grindy, I say I like the grind, That is just annoying at this point because it's not like there are tons of different ways to go about getting... I mean, yeah, you could do different mission types, but it's, it's limited in a sense via the mission types. So, you know, maybe if, like, hit the road and stuff, you could choose your reward, you know, based on how... Like, the better percentage of the health... The hit the road is a really good thing, okay? And I think the, a reward system for that, where you could almost choose your rewards, would be great. Obviously, you could easily have, like, you could have... The thing is, say you got a thousand gold or a thousand purple. I wouldn't care. I, I don't think there should be less gold or less purple. I, I, yeah, now I'm thinking about it. Maybe a thousand purple to eight hundred gold because that mission takes what around forty minutes, forty to fifty minutes, and that I believe forty to, to forty minutes to an hour should give two to three upgrades on perk up. So if I had a weapon that had three perks left and I needed to get them all gold. I could go into a mission that takes around an hour, complete it, and then get the rest of the legendary perk up. I keep calling it gold. Legendary perk up that I need. Maybe that's because I'm not on that grind hype as much. I've been having a lot more fun with the game, just playing for the sake of it. I haven't really played grindy grindy in a while. But, yeah, I think a majority of the people would also agree with that. Because there are so many weapons in this game. There are so many traps as well, and so many heroes that there is such a variety of this like you want to try every weapon you want to try different builds you like i want to use a weapon i want to max it out i want to then change the perks on this weapon so i could spend like 5000 reperk on one weapon along with all of the per uh, like perk ups to get the stats up to legendary and then mess around with them and then i'm going to be changing around my hero loadout for that weapon and it's, there's just so much customization now with the hero loadouts which is actually insane insanely good that to push that even more and bring that more enjoyable aspect, you'd definitely be pushing the enjoyable part of the game like more in our faces if they did reduce the grind. And I understand that there's obviously a lot of people that are older that enjoy the grind of the game, but there are also a lot of younger people who... I know a lot of them enjoy the grind as well, but a lot of them, you know, don't. And there are people that then work. The older people that have work and they come back, they just want to enjoy the game. They don't want to be sitting there like, oh, okay, I'm going to spend Friday evening six hours getting some gold so I can upgrade one weapon. Oh, turns out it's crap. Oh, uh, that was a waste of time. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. So I think that would be... I know I'm just rambling, but that's just my thoughts. And that's why I wanted to do this video, just to ramble a little bit. Um, <laughs> so after I just break down all that, yes, obviously, evolution materials, like I said, there's tons of heroes, you need to upgrade them, tons of weapons, you need to upgrade them. I, I want to make, uh, like, I want to max out every single weapon and hero I have, but at the moment, it, it's, no, I'm not going to do that. But at some point, if these are buffed nicely, then, yeah, I definitely could. Additionally, we're increasing the number of mini-bosses and mutant storms that appear in all four locations. Mutant storms... For some reason, I can't even figure out 100% what that is. And every group mission should now receive a me mega alert. Ooh. A mega alert. So what's a, what's a mega alert? What's a mission alert? I know mission alerts. Mission alerts that appear in the upper half of Twine will be less likely to award XP. And much more likely to award evolution and perk materials. Okay, that's cool. Whilst mini boss alerts will not award weapons heroes survivors as much as a result the ones that do appear have gotten a rarity boost no more rares and will be much more likely to be a direct reward instead of a transformation key we were also in we were also increasing the quantity of perk and evolution materials that they award and smoothed out the scaling a bit across all locations 
Stay awesome community. You too, Epic Games. Now, this sounds good, but they've said this multiple times in the past. No more rares. Okay, you know, the thing is, I, I, I think with, like, Entwine Peaks, even purples are just a waste of time. Th by, by Candy Valley, you've already got an inventory of gold schematics. And you don't drop below legendary, really. I mean, I, I know some people like to use purples and stuff like that to make the game more difficult for them. Uh, but, you know, you could just, uh, they could just use a gold schematic and not level it up. <laughs> so the fact that we're not going to be getting blues is good, but also like purples. And I think with like llamas, I, if there was a way, I think they should almost... The scaling and the reward should be based on your power level as well. So, you know, when you open llamas and you just get blues, schematics, greens, and all that, I feel like there should also be like an automatic recycle option. So, any of these schematics or weapons that you pick up, green, blue, purple, you can tick a little box or option or something somewhere where if you pick it up, it's automatically recycled. You automatically get all the parts, you automatically just get the XP and the the um, folders, whatever they're called, you know, weapon designs and stuff like that. Because I, when you open llamas and you get tons of that, it's a bit annoying. I know that it's not a big of an issue. There are so many bug fixes and stuff that need to be like addressed first. But yeah, that's uh, something that could definitely be looked at. But they're, they're going the right route. I mean, the hit the road jack, I really, really like. I haven't played it tons and tons and tons. So I'm not bored of it yet. Um, <laughs> unlike the emotes I've been spamming left, right and centre, I'm not so bored, I actually love, I, I always emote. If I could emote, you know the flag scene? We need to be able to emote at the flag scene because that is the top dog. I think my door went, I'll be one second. Yeah, there was, there was no one at my door. I just grabbed, I grabbed some strawberries on the way up though, so I didn't waste the journey. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this ramble. I mean, um, a ramble of... Best intentions, obviously. When I ramble, I'm not trying to crap all over the game. Um, I'm I'm just trying to put my thoughts forward, the way I see the game, and what I, how I think the game could improve. I'm open for discussion. If anyone in the comments you know would like to counter something I said, or just give their opinion on why they believe the X would work better than this, you know, I'm all down for that. And just hearing your opinions and what you believe in the roadmap and what the game needs, because. I'm pretty. They do listen to the community. Uh, Save the world, do, and you can tell they 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 just do. I don't know if they do, but I I think they do. Are they listening now? I'm pretty sure they are. You know, we got people like Demon Joe France who put lots of many good points forward. Team Vash have been putting loads of good points uh, forward recently as well. And there's tons of that in the community, all over Reddit, all over Twitch, all over everything you can name, all, almost like social media wise, and. Epic Games do pick up on it, and I'm sure if we p put it in their faces constructively, you know, I like m no means I'm not crapping over them. I I'm just putting out my opinion, and I, it's for the best. I only mean it with the best intentions on, on on that case. But yes, ladies and gents, I will let you get on with the rest of your day. Make sure to drink some water, eat some fruit, five a day, you know, keep healthy. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you'd like to support me even more, you can use my supporter creator code Aiden Harris in the store whenever you're purchasing V-Bucks when you go to buy yourself some cheeky skins or some cheeky emotes. And there, I will see you in the next one. Adios.